Hi, I'm Cow. This is Drop the Guillotine by Peach Pit, and it's the acoustic covered arrangement that Cave Town did. Capo third fret, standard tuning. Right, you're gonna start out with the intro. A minor, E, F, C. You can strum these, or you can do it in a little more advanced way. So, the more advanced way, you hit fifth string, down, strum down, hit your first string, your high E string, and then do up, down, up. I'm going to be referring to strings as numbers. Your thickest string is your sixth string. Your thinnest string is your first string. Okay, so five, down, one, up, down, up. Then you go to E, six, four, down, two, up, down, up. So sixth string, fourth string, down, strum, second string, up, down, up. Then you do the same thing for your F chord. Then when you go to your C chord, it, you don't strum it at all. You hit um, fifth string, third, second, third. Then you shift your finger on the fifth string down a fret, the second fret, fifth, third, second, third. So. Sounds like. Then you go into the verse. The verse is broken into two parts. I'm going to call it part A and part B. Part A is the exact same as the intro, the thing I just taught you. Part B is the same, but you don't go to C, instead you do F twice. So you do A, E, F, F. Then you go back into part A, then you go to part B. So you do part A, part B, then part A again, then part B again. All together with lyrics, it sounds like You said you didn't know her name yesterday This is part B But now you've got to stay in later on In whispered pressure lashes left on the cheek Just brush it off Got a feeling weird. Then you go into the pre-chorus, which consists of a D7 chord and an F chord. Apart, you, apart from you play each chord for two bars, so you do two D7s, then two F chords. The way you play these with the fancy way is you hit the root note, in this case of the D7 chord, it is the fourth string, down, first string, up, down, up. So... And then you go to an F chord, where you hit the 6th string, down, 2nd string, up, down, up. And then you, you know, you play both of those uh, for two bars, and do those two bars twice each. So, D7, F, D7, F. And then you go into the chorus, and of course sing over the pre-chorus. There's the there's the lyrics there too. It's just I've forgotten them. <laughs> okay, so the chorus is C E F, except from when it's not. But I'll tell you when it's not. So you the advanced way of playing this is you hit the fifth string on your C down, second string up down up. Then you go to the E sixth string down second up down up. Then you go to F and do the same. Sixth, down, second, up, down, up. You should, you sure know how to drop that guillotine on me. Though you would never want to see me bleed. I'll just wipe off my neck and leave you in between. On that word in between there, after your F, you go to a D7 with the same way that you played it in the bridge, or the pre-chorus, sorry. So, fourth string, down, high E, up, down, up. And then you go back, and then for the last line of the chorus, you go back to C, E, F. You sure know how to kill me. And then you go back into your verse, which is the exact same as the first verse. And then after that verse, you do a, a pre-chorus. Then after that, you do two choruses. For those last two choruses, 
I like to ramp up the intensity and just strum it entirely. So instead of just going, you sure know how to drop that guillotine on me. I like to go, you sure know how to drop that guillotine on me. Though you would never want to see me bleed. You know? And that's all there is to the song. After, um, after finishing that second chorus, well, it's technically two choruses back to back. Um, look up the lyrics if you're confused. That kind of shows you the song structure. Um, you just end on a single C chord. And that's how you play the song. Um, this one was actually really fun to do. This is like the... I think it's the hardest thing I've transcribed. I'm really proud of it. Um, yeah, I'm actually coming up on a thousand subscribers, which is really cool. I'm so great. I'm really surprised I've made it this far. Um, but if you're if if you if I've not released a Q and A video yet, go join my Discord and ask me questions in the Q and A channel because I'm doing a, I'm wildly gesticulating for some reason. But I'm doing a Q and A video soon for a thousand subscribers. I, it's probably gonna be late because, I'm stupid like that. But you know. You can go ask questions there if I've not already released it. Also, there's some really cool people and we do like open mic nights. Yeah, you should go check it out. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs>